begin this morning with the first public words from three kidnapping victims who survived a decade of torture. The women were rescued from a house in Cleveland two months ago. The women released a YouTube video overnight with a message for their supporters. Reporter Bill Safos of our affiliate WOIO is in Cleveland. Good morning. Instead of a highly publicized interview, the women decided to break their silence in a YouTube video. In the three and a half minute clip, you see the women are happy and healthy and each had the same message for their supporters. I want to thank everyone. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all your prayers. Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina De Jesus still carry the burden of their ordeal, but this video shows just how far they've come. I'm getting stronger each day, and I'm having my privacy has helped immensely. I ask that everyone continues to respect our privacy and give us time to have a normal life. The last time we heard Barry's voice was just over two months ago, the night she escaped from the home of alleged kidnapper Ariel Castro. <laughs> You need police, fire, or ambulance? I need police. Okay, and what's going on there? I've been kidnapped and I've been missing for 10 years and I'm, I'm here, I'm free now. Investigators say the women endured repeated abuse at the hands of Castro. For almost 10 years, they were said to have spent much of their captivity tied up. The 52-year-old former bus driver is alleged to have starved, raped, and beaten Knight. No, In the I'm video, so she fine. says she will not be consumed by hatred. I may have been through hell and back, but I am strong enough to walk through hell with a smile on my face. Just hours after Barry made that 911 call, Castro was arrested. The three returned safely to their homes and families. De Jesus appeared in the video alongside her parents who thanked the community for standing by them. They know who they are. Awesome. The women made no mention of their captor, who has since been indicted on 329 counts, including rape and murder. Now Thank they're focused on prayers. the future. I'm looking forward to my brand new life. Thank you. The women were inspired to make the video after receiving all the financial support that they have gotten. Still, they hope that they can somehow maintain their privacy as they continue to heal. And as for Ariel Castro, well, on July 3rd, a judge found that he is competent to stand trial. If convicted, he could face the death penalty. Nora, Anthony. The women look remarkably good, but I'm sure there's a lot to deal with there. I know, and uh, we, of course, have been worried about them and captivated by this story. It was interesting that they put this out essentially at midnight in the middle of the night, yeah. to break their silence in this sort of way and as they continue to heal.